Hey everyone, this is Michael with Cult of Mac here, and today I have a first look for you, a hands-on with TweetBot for Mac. So if you want to get this for yourself, you can go to the TapBots blog and scroll to the bottom, and there's a link right here where you can download TweetBot for Mac. Now it is an alpha, so it's not completely finished, um, but it is stable enough that you can test it out. So if we launch it up here for the first time, you can see that right now it has an egg icon and open and for right from here it says thanks for trying tweetbot for mac so we're going to sign in with twitter so once you've logged in with twitter you'll see tweetbot for mac here and it looks a lot like you'd probably expect it uh, it looks very similar to the ipad version and it also takes some design influences from the iphone version so you can see here your main timeline and you can scroll through all your tweets and if you hover over any tweet you can see different options so for example i can favorite the tweet I can read it later, copy link tweet, copy tweet, things like you'd expect, like you saw in the iPhone and iPad versions. You can also view details, conversation, retweets, things like that. Uh, of course, you can reply to it, and when you reply, you get this little drop-down sheet right on the tweet. And then, of course, you can also retweet it like this and it'll say retweet it. So you have you know, basic functionality like you'd expect. So now if you wanna send a tweet, you can click on the little compose icon right here and type in something like testing tweet bot for Mac. And, and of course you have some different settings like adding location or image and then tweet. Now of course, just like in the iPad version, we have lists right here. So you can select all your lists and choose which one you want. And just like on the iPad version, on the side, if you click on your profile, you can see all your accounts. Now I only have one logged in, uh, but you assumedly will be able to add other accounts. So of course you have all your buttons on the side here. Here's your timeline. Here's your mentions. Uh, you have your direct messages. I'm not going to go into that. You have your favorited tweets. You can also go in a search here and you have your save searches and your trends and top tweets and people things like that. And then you also have your profile. It looks very similar to what it does on the iPad version. It's a little bit different, uh, the layout, uh, but of course you have your followers, following, tweets, and listed. And if you click on any one of these, little panel will slide over and you'll be able to see your followers. If you click here on the list button, you can see all the lists you've made and you can hit edit and you can add a list just like this. Hit cancel, done just like that and you've made a list and you can also delete lists on your account as well. You can also view retweets by others or if you select you can do your tweets retweeted and everything that you'd expect on the iPhone version is essentially on the Mac version as well and you also have mute filters. Now unfortunately at this point since there's no iCloud syncing your mute filters don't sync over from the iPhone uh, but in the final version, I would assume they would. And also over here in the corner, you have settings. So if I click on settings, nothing at this point really happens. I'm not quite sure uh, what that's supposed to bring up. I'd assume perhaps the preferences panel, but I'm not sure at this point. Uh, but basically under preferences, you have your different sounds, your font size, uh, you know, all of the things you'd expect. Uh, new tweets bar, hide on scroll. It's pretty much all the settings of the iPhone version. In fact, TweetBot for Mac is essentially... All the features you know and love from the iPhone and iPad version, but brought over to the desktop uh, with an optimized interface. And of course, you can add accounts and uh, change things like that as well. So that's pretty much a hands-on with TweetBot for Mac. Uh, it looks pretty great. Even though it's in alpha, it seems to work pretty great for me, at least in this initial testing. TapBot says when they do release it, it'll cost probably a few dollars. Uh, but for right now, you can download it from the website for free. So there you go. There's a look at TweetBot for Mac. This is Michael with Cult of Mac. And thank you for watching.